that supposedly there was a turd in the bed. All right, hello everyone. I'm gonna just move this a little bit, trying to get everything together. And it wants to be, do its own thing. All right, so I'm still working with my besties um, materials that she sent and today I'm gonna do an easy one I've cut out one of the napkins here as you remember from yesterday so I just cut this napkin the skull out of the napkin and then this is a background that I really like and then I have some border that I cut okay so it'll go around like so and then we got the boo so hopefully we can uh, get all of this to come together and it's a quick and easy process so the first thing you're going to need is your substrate and it's the same four inches by six inches and uh, or you can go a little bit smaller so what I want to do is glue my substrate and I'm using this Elmer's Craft uh, Glue Extra Strength. Well, I'm almost done too. I do have other craft glue and it's not exactly my favorite. I do think this is the best. So, but you use what works for you. I do like using gel medium, but I'm trying to use up all of my, see, <laughs> I think that's going to be it, uh, trying to use up all of my materials that I have, all of the things that it's, I don't use that often. I want to make sure I get this on here really well. And I probably can get another time or two out of that, so I don't want to waste it. Alrighty, and I'm just going to put this on here. If you have a brayer, this will be a good time to use your brayer to get it as flat as possible. Now the one thing about using decorative paper on the background is that you don't really have to do a whole lot. So this is somewhat setting yourself up for an easy, easy postcard. And I'm just going to cut as well as I can. And I need my glasses. I still have trouble seeing really detailed things. So I'm not able to get as close as I can with my glasses on. And I'm just cutting this off. Now one thing you can do is if you make a card that you really like and you don't want to trade, you can frame it. That's a good option. Also, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to save this too. Because see, I can use that for a border. And I will save this one and I'm going to let this, this go. So if you save uh, postcards that you like that you've made and you put them in a border, uh, excuse me, a frame, then you already have some instant art that you've made. Um, you also can give that as a gift. So that would be really a, a creative way to use you know, to, to use your art, to share it. Okay, so I'm going to start now gluing uh, this on. So, probably I just... I am finding another thing is to get some of this parchment paper. I've been making Christmas cards for a Christmas party that we're having this year. And... This just kind of helps me if I use this 
uh, parchment paper. I don't seem to make as big of a mess. Okay. And I like to be very random with my art. So I don't necessarily think too much about it. It seems to um, take away some of the fun if I plan it too much. But then there's times too when I haven't planned it and I regret that. So that can also be a, a problem. I don't think I'm going to have enough to go around, so we will have to find some more pieces for a border. And that's going to be all right because what we're going to do is be creative. even if we have to get a little piece right there. All right, so put this in here. Make sure I don't have any more. So I know that I've got this left and I could go ahead and put this here. And as a matter of fact, let's get let's do that, but let's also go ahead and get some um something for a good border okay so we don't need a lot I'm going back to the folder which I think is so creative that she put everything in this little folder and since I already have this stuff cut up I'm just going to reach for it because I think it's going I, I just like to use up what I have and a lot of times that's how I find my creativity works the best so since that's right there on top I don't have to look too far and I don't have to cut too much. So right here, there we go. All right, let's get that piece of paper out. The glue. This is a great way to use up your scraps. Um, also to just unwind. I mean, if you're finding that you're having anxiety, this is really a great way to do a little bit of crafting. And with the holidays coming up, you could probably make some wonderful gifts to give to people and because uh, people let's see I think those come from the same piece so that might would be a little too much but people do like to have uh, pieces of, of, of you and that's one way to share by creating something that you've done. Okay. Somewhere around there. See, we're almost done. I mean, they're really, this is fast, super fast. Okay. Make sure everything is pushed down really well. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is glue this on my skull, and I'm going to make it come at an angle. So, I'm 
Now be careful because when you are dealing with tissue, paper, or napkin, uh, they're very thin at this point, very delicate, and it can be easy to tear. All right, so now I have a boo, and I can put boo at an angle like that, which I like because it fits. I could put boo down here. You know, just see where you like it. But I just, for me, I, I just like it right there. Or I could do something like that and keep it going kind of like in an, you know, at an angle instead of straight up you can make it curve so hmm I like either one but I think for me if I were to put it right here I actually think I like it better there so I'm gonna do it there really no rules to this. It's all about what your eye likes because that's what people are excited about is what you create as opposed to creating something, you know, like copying directly and saying, oh, I like this. I'm going to make this and not putting yourself into it, if that makes sense. I mean, we've all done it. We've all copied and um, that's how we learn. But at some point, you'll get to a place to where you'll just say, this needs something, this needs something, and then you'll start incorporating that yourself. So I'm going to take, uh, this is a pit artist pen, and I'm going to just kind of scratch around like that on the inside I went off but that's okay All right and then I want to go around the edge here and this is kind of, I think, make sure I'm in the shot. So I'm kind of just scratching, if you will. See how it's just scratching a little bit? Now, you can see that looks like that's a little bit. See how that's up right there? So I would have to take my glue and see if I can get right into that little space glue it down and I guess this is just going to anchor this image a little bit but if you do not like it don't have to Okay, and I think I'm going to do the same here. Now, a part of me is feeling like I want to continue with the dots. And so that's what I'm going to do is make these little circles. And I'm just using this as a decorative tool because, again, there's not a lot of layers in here. And I like to have where the eye will stay a while. Now, I'm feeling like I want to do more. So I, I really like adding these I don't know what they're called humps I guess 
but I really like adding them. Again, it's all about getting the eye to spend a while on your piece. It took me a while to, to learn this, and uh, I do paint. That is one of the things I feel like I'm better at painting, uh, maybe than, than with, uh, you know, collaging. But now I'm going to come in and just put some little dots in here. Um, but the hardest thing, I think, is you know obviously creating layers is uh, whether it's in collaging or whether it's in painting or I guess any kind of art form but the ones that I'm the most familiar with are um, acrylic paint and then collaging and mix you know mixed media but the more layers the more um, the eye has to sort and I think for me when I'm looking at art, I don't want to just get it in that, you know, however many seconds, we'll say 10 or 15 seconds that you approach a painting and the mind processes it rather quickly. You know, you can see whatever the, whatever it is. But if um, there's more going on, then the mind is saying, let me look, let me see. And then you will spend find that you're spending that time deciphering, you know, looking at all the layers and look at what they did. And it, it's more interesting when it's done like that, I think. Let's see. I like putting eyebrows. Now, I'm also feeling like there could be some definition in here. So, I don't think I would want to do every single thing, but we'll see how it goes. But I am feeling some things could be defined a little bit. And if this is something that is confusing for you and you don't see so well, even when you do have your glasses or whatever, you know, you like to, you know, your readers, what have you. Um, you know, these are things you don't have to do. So I'm just looking for any lines that I can see very well. And coming around them, tracing them out. And it's okay if I create some too. I think that's it. So um, let's just see what if I were to come around the tooth or the teeth down here. Maybe we can make that stand out a little bit more.
think I like that. Okay. Now, I could here put some eyeballs. So I will need to go and grab my eyeballs and I will be right back. I'm just going to pull everything I can reach out. Let's see if we can just stay with the eyes. So I have a couple of eyes. I we can put the mouth back. I think those are mouths. I think that might be an eye down there with that right here. I think that's an eye. So Let's see. I well, don't think I just want that one. So now we have to determine which eyes will work. Okay. So I'm going to close this up. Let's see what we got. So we have to see what eye might work. I'm kind of thinking these eyes might work. So these are a little bit smaller. So these could be a, a good idea. Now do we want to stick with the black and white? We could do that. And those are just singular eyes, so we can mix and match eyes, obviously. So that could be an option. Let's look at, let's put these eyes that have a mate. Let's look at, I think we, this one's too big. This one's too big. We could do these two. Well, at least he'll have a, a right eye and a left eye. So let's see how that will look. Did not watch the trial of Johnny Depp and uh, was it Amanda Heard? I forgot her name. Didn't really watch that. But uh, the fact that supposedly there was a turd in the bed. I was just like, wow. Really a big wow. Because somebody had cleaned that up. And those kind of things do not make me happy. Nope, they don't. All right. I think that's kind of cool. So... Let me see if I can trim this down a little bit over here. All right, let's glue that in. So you see, I here I, I started out thinking that this was going to be super, super simple, that I wasn't going to do a whole lot more. Um, but then, I thought that was an eyeball there, glued on the back. But then, my creativity started running and I realized, hey, I can um, do something else with this. And that's how it works. Alrighty. We'll get rid of this here. Move all of this over. I think this one's done. So, let's see if you can see it. So I think this is a, a good one. This turned out to be really easy. So if you have your background paper, 
you have uh, one of these napkins you can just easily cut out the image get you um, a border so whatever kind of paper you want for that and then just do a little outlining and in this case we have some eyes there we go all right hope you have a great day and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow